guys. What's up? What's up? <clears throat> Get my stuff pulled up. Running a little. Ooh, three minutes late. I apologize. Please forgive me. Um, pull up the recording thing here. Dustin, if you're still in here, appreciate appreciate hitting the subscribe button. Dustin, if you're still here, appreciate you. Um, let me see something real fast. I'm gonna try to. <clears throat> so Scott. All right. Um, I think well, my son was uh, <laughs> yeah, bro. Uh, I don't think we hit a single home run. It's I think at this point it's impossible. Anyhow, yeah, struggling to get my son to go to sleep, so I'm just pulling up my notes here, and we'll get going. Yep, over 700 pushing. Now it's all about trying to get them dang watch hours. That's the hardest part is I need to make like a video that's like an hour long and, and like just try to watch it myself like a hundred times. I don't know if it works that way or not. Uh, but yeah, it's the hardest part is getting the watch hours and I can actually like make money doing this. And I don't even think it's that much, but honestly it would make it still like it fuels a, a, a giveaway or something like that. But um okay here we go <coughs> this thing coughed too i can't sh i can't shake it what's up and welcome to lunchtime in the lab your number one gambling podcast for quick picks i am your host as always thanks so much for tuning in on a fine tuesday april 16th um let's see live on twitter live on youtube as well today so if you're watching on uh twitter and you you comment in there. I can see it just like I can see the YouTube comments. So you guys can certainly be involved and interact and everything like that. If you're seeing it on Twitter, please do me a favor and retweet it. If you're on YouTube and you want to retweet it, uh, come over to Twitter, retweet it, whatever. Uh, trying to grow, grow, grow. Got to get in, you know, more subscribers, more people watching, everything like that. So things are definitely going good um, in terms of this. Unfortunately, we are not going to win every day, as you guys have seen. Um Guys, MLB has been tough. I I wish I could pinpoint. I actually like I actually do it pretty regularly, but like last night, like my wife went to bed. I went out with my dog. You know, my I got two dogs. Uh one's, you know, been with me before I met my wife, you know. So he was he's been my ride or die. We were just sitting outside and I was going through my tracker for the 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 Discord and kind of just going through and be like, all right, you know, like what was working. You know, when we started hot, I'm up 15 units still in the Discord, even after, you know, really being down seven units in the last week or so. <coughs> What's been working, you know? And, man, it's the same stuff I've been doing now. I uh, haven't really been doing anything different, you know? So trying to come up with some ideas or doing something different or whatever. But, you know, they say the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting different results. However, you know, it's just sometimes like guys don't come through for us, you know, and I'll complain about it here for a hot second and then we'll move on to the next bets and um, and we'll go about with our lives or whatever, you know. So uh, let me see. I want to make sure I actually I shared this in the Discord. I think I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, but okay. Anyhow, today's Tuesday, uh, 416. Like I said, before we get into today's plays, as always, take a look back and see what we did yesterday. Uh, Royals and Dodgers money line. So obviously, yeah, 0 and 3. Went three and zero yesterday. I'm tired of doing it, guys. I would go three and zero, turn out with the zero and three, and then turn around with a little snapback two and one, three and zero. It's just kind of the way like MLB is just a mean sob. It seems like and uh, anyhow, Royals won comfortably. I mean, I, I didn't think the you know the White Sox were going to do much at all. Um, the Dodgers lost. I <coughs> I was up long enough to see them down by a little bit. I don't know. I don't think I seen the home run. I, I went to bed. Um, Dodgers lost. At one point, they got all the way up to a minus 400. I was in on it when they were like a minus two something or something like that, you know? Um, I How are the Dodgers losing? Like, if I if I were to make a band list, it's probably the top of the line is probably Red Sox. Shout out my dad, who's a Red Sox fan. But the offense is terrible. I mean, did y'all see what, that game yesterday, Patriots Day? Left fielder, third baseman ran into each other. One had to leave. I watched them like throwing the ball around the field. 
you know, air throws it a second, then he throws it home, and then guys are guys are scoring. Um, Red Sox, top of the list. Dodgers, <laughs> possibly Dodgers. You know, Dodgers, and then Braves are almost. And no, okay, Red Sox, Phillies. I'm tired of watching the Phillies offense just do jack shit. That's another loss I had yesterday. They ended up winning 1-0. You know, we were on the minus one and a half, obviously. Um, I was on Brandon Marsh to get a hit. Brandon Marsh has got a hit in every home game against a right-handed pitcher. Brandon Marsh has got a hit in every game, but like two. Brandon Marsh couldn't hit the ball past the pitcher yesterday. Dude grounded out to the pitcher, I think, twice. Maybe to the first baseman. Uh, wasn't even close to sniffing a hit. Anyway, Reds money line plus 130. Uh, you know, did the early up on it too in the discord, never had a chance, you know, our boy Frankie, Frankie, I think I want to say, I think it's Frankie. For some reason I was hesitating. It's Freddie Frankie Montas, uh, four walks the entire season. I think he had two or three starts. He had four walks the entire season. Guess how many he had in the first quarter or the first inning? Uh, I'll tell you four. He had four walks in the first inning. He had four walks all year. Uh, you know, walk home run. And then just walk, walk, walk. I mean, like the first inning take, took an hour to, for him to get. He threw 50 pitches in the first inning. They never had a chance. Reds, Reds offense is just about as bad as some of the Phillies offenses. And then, then the Phillies minus one and a half. Um, I wanted to play. I didn't want to play that minus one and a half, so I put Brandon Marsh with it. You know, in the Discord, that missed. Uh, I had another pretty terrible day in the Discord uh, to go along with it in here. As I, you know, some of these plays do double dip or whatever. Um, so. Not at the point to have any alarms or anything like that. It's just you just lose, you know, guys. And I don't think I need to bet differently and, uh, you know, pick different spots or something. Gosh, I don't know. Uh, but we're going to go on. We got three plays here. Um, <coughs> let me see. Let me pull up the right screen here. Before we do it, though, as usual, beer money picks at the bottom of the uh, at the bottom here in the link. I got the uh, the links for the biweekly in the monthly code all caps lunchtime for 25 percent off just for you know being a listener of the show if you follow me on twitter i actually posted we have a two month and a three month the two month comes with five days for free the three month comes for 10 days for free so you would essentially get a three month for a uh, dollar a day at that rate i actually had quite a few people sign up with the two month and the and the and the three months so something i guess people were apparently you know interested in whatever so like i said if you're watching on twitter all the way at the top in my bio you can get the uh the bi-weekly and the month, and then look at that tweet, probably 10 back, something like that. It's in there. Then on, on, on YouTube, of course, it's there. But we'll pull it. We'll get into the plays here. Um, and uh, we'll get into the plays here. TJ, what you say? what you say here? The numbers in baseball always come back to normal more than they stay players doing. Yeah. Well, it's it's one of those sports where it's you have uh, – you're, you're successful if you fail, you know, two-thirds of the time. Um, you know – I, th I feel like last year I, I I pretty much stopped doing guys to get a hit because I was getting just burned on it so much. Um, I th I think I was doing more maybe like hits, runs, RBIs, and total bases. Like money lines are just are eating me up right now. It seems. I mean, Dodgers losing. Um, who you know? Like I was on Soto and the Yankees losing the other day. You know, just stuff like that. Uh, the first five team total. Honestly, like for me, baseball has always been a, a total. I mean, I think that's where I'm successful, and that's what we're going to today. First five team totals, team totals in general, uh, full game totals, you know, unders, whatever, you know. So, I mean, it's just kind of it's kind of going with the trends. And I, honestly, I mean, it's still April. We're still three weeks in. It's still cold. We, you know, the ball is going to be flying like we expect it to be here very soon. And these anemic offenses are hopefully going to turn things around. Uh, we just need some good weather. We need, you know, some June baseball and, you know, things are going to be, things are going to be, you know, flying at that point or whatever, but let's get into it guys. Appreciate you guys that are all hopped in and everybody's interacting. Everybody's hit the subscribe button. If you haven't hit the like button yet, do that for me. If you're on Twitter and you're watching, do me a favor and uh, retweet it as well today though. First play going to go with the first five. <coughs> First five team total for the Braves. Braves first five team total over two and a half. Uh, we have Hunter Brown going for the Astros. He was just destroyed by the Royals. And guess what? I do think the Braves bats are a little bit better than the Royals. The Royals put up nine runs in the first inning on 11 hits. hits. This guy, I think, got just one out, maybe two outs. Obviously not all three. He didn't get out of the first inning. Um, certainly an outlier. 
I, I think that's, I think that's okay. Um, you know, at this, you know, that, that you're going to have those, you're gonna have those bad outings. You're gonna have good outings. That can be outliers too. Against the Rangers. He gave up five runs and three innings pitch. He did pitch well against the Yankees, but unfortunately, you know, the Yankees are kind of one of those hit and miss teams. They have all that power. And and unfortunately the Yankees, I feel like for really a year and a half now has been uh one that's really not uh, that, the talents not translating or whatever. Um, but yeah, but he did pitch good against the Yankees. The Braves are hitting right-handed pitchers though really well. Uh, so the play is a hundred percent fading Hunter Brown. Hunter Brown's been, you know, st- started out, you know, a decent outing. Last two is just being smoked um, and just getting killed, kind of thing, right? But the Braves bats are fantastic. The Braves ha- are the best team at hitting a right-handed pitcher in the league. <coughs> They have the best batting average. They have the best on base percentage. They have the base o- best OPS. Um, in the one matchup that Hunter Brown has gone against the Braves last year, he gave up seven hits in four runs. If we pull up the um, pitcher versus batter like stats here, whatever, just real quick, you can see like, you know, I'm pretty sure they've he's faced them just that one time. Uh, Austin Riley went two for three in that game with the double batting, you know, six sixty seven uh acuna went two for three with two doubles kalenic in his career has gone two for four uh albies one for two matt olson went over three against them everybody else hasn't faced him yet it looks like uh so they do have a little bit of like familiarity like i said with uh with him and hunter bound just you know being uh kind of struggling or whatever and, and you have to get to the point where like the braves offense like the Braves still have the best offense in the league. Um, and then a lot of people, you know, say like, oh, I'm off the Braves or Braves are banned or whatever. But the Braves just have so much talent. They're just incredible. They're just underperforming, just un- incredibly underperforming. And uh, and realistically, I guess you can say that about, about the Phillies. You can say that. Can't say that about the Red Sox. Honestly, the Red Sox, <coughs> they're they're just they're just missing guys. The guy guys hurt, everything like that. But um, anyhow, though, first play. Braves first five team total. I like the matchup against Hunter. I like it going against a righty. I like going against a righty that's struggling. And then the Braves, uh, you, you know, time to kind of turn it around in a nice little situation that they have for themselves. It feels like one where they're going to, they're going to kind of explode and get some, get some pretty good runs for us here. Um, but, uh, and then, yeah. So B- Biggie says, those of you can't, you know, obviously are, you can't see it. Less home run lays, uh, long shot play lays, more builders. I just feel like builders. MLB is probably the, um, the hardest sport to do like a safe, quote unquote safe play. I don't feel like there's any safe plays in MLB. Um, if you guys been around for me like in the NFL, like I, I might be one of the best. You know, not to toot my own horn or whatever. Maggi is, is pretty good in the Discord as well with me. But, I mean, you know, we were running a builder for the, you know, the 1 o'clock games, 4 o'clock games, the 8 o'clock games. I mean, Thursday night, uh, you know, this person throw for 200 and and rush for 25. This person have two catches, whatever, it's plus 100, and we're riding it. Because um, <clears throat> football is one of those sports that, like, what should happen generally does happen. And baseball, I mean, it's a split second. Guys swinging a piece of wood at a, at a ball. That's coming at them at 90 to 100 miles an hour. Um, and sometimes like this person that's got a hit in 10 or 12 straight games, you know, doesn't get it hit. Uh, or, you know, like this guy's got 10 strikeouts and or, you know, he averages four strikeouts a game and you got him for two. And, you know, he ends up getting just rocked and they get they pull him early or he takes a fastball, <laughs> you know, to the back of his calf, you know, and he gets yanked out because he's injured or something, you know, so. MLB is just rough. MLB is a hard bet, you know, to, to go after, you know. Um, pitching overs and unders is certainly something I looked at. That's like an alternative bet to like the, essentially the, the first five. I've seen some people talking about Hunter Brown already on his, uh, you know, you can do his ERA over or his uh, earned run, I mean, is at three and a half, if I'm not mistaken, but we can get the over team total at two and a half. Uh, you have his outs. You could take his outs under, thinking that he's not gonna, you know, he's gonna get rocked. You can take his his, his uh, strikeouts under, thinking he's gonna get, you know, hit and get knocked out, you know, early kind of thing. So definitely a lot of different ways to play, you know, some of these, you know, these situations or whatever. Um, <coughs> but uh, which I, I guess now now that I bring that up or whatever, Patrick Corbin pitches today. 
But the Dodgers still, I don't think, have announced who their pitcher is going to be. So you don't see as many props. You do see some action with like the first five. We've been on Patrick Corbin first five team total, the opposing team total three times. It's cashed three times this year. But I just I don't know if it's going to be feasible to play or not today. Um, I actually have it pulled up here, which is funny. I must have been looking at it fairly recently. Um, the Dodgers' first five team total is over three and a half. That's a number I don't usually like to play. Um, so I – like, will I play it? Like, possibly. It's not going to be a podcast play. I think I'm going to probably want to see how some of my early stuff plays out here, and especially since this game's not till what, 10 – I don't even know what time this game's at. 10 10 tonight. 10 11 my time. You know, this is another one that like I, I don't see the end of the game, you know. Um, but you could look at, you know, Patrick Corbin's strikeouts thrown. You could take um, you know, under three and a half if you wanted to. But I mean, I'm honestly I feel like some of these these uh um who are they? Dodgers strike out a lot. You could take his outs recorded under, you know, three and a half. His his hits allowed is at over five and a half at minus one fifty. I mean, the books know he's gonna get rocked. Um, his ERA is over three and a half. So that once again, though, that's still thinking that he's only going to pitch about five innings. you still have him at four, you know, at the, at the even money there, you know? So, um, I would probably still play his over first five team total, but it's just, it's just a hair high, you know, like, it's just, I like the two and a half, but it might be something just to talk about it. Cause like, it's, we are a big, I am a big Patrick Corbin guy. The podcast has hit on him three times in a row, but I don't want to blindly just take it at the three and a half. I want to hopefully have a good day today and then, you know, be up and be like, all right, let's ride it. He's been here. Let's see what happens kind of thing. Uh, but second play, though, is going to be fading Kyle Hendricks, which we've had a lot of success for. We have we are, I think, at this point, 2-0 and fading Kyle Hendricks. Um, he faces his Diamonds back team that is just as explosive, I feel like, as the Braves when they're on, when they're hitting the ball. The, the Diamondbacks have some great hitters, in my opinion. <clears throat> Kyle Hendricks for the Cubs uh, is giving up seven, five, and five runs in his three starts. Average of just four innings pitched in those three starts. So the guy's just been getting, you know, just nailed. Uh, also going against Hunter Hunter Henry. I do feel like the over could be a play here, but it's kind of ballooned up to nine and a half. I think it opened at eight, rightfully so. So, I mean, you're having to play a 10, which I, I think is pretty doable. Um, but I like going after this, this first five team total. It's just been always something that's really been – uh, been beneficial for me and i think just one time so far have we lost the first five team total to where um to where like you know just i think a few days ago we they scored three in the sixth inning you know they were dead 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 they then they came out in the sixth. i think that was the first time you know first taking a full game team total versus taking a first five um you know it's worked out for us but uh, Diamondbacks have the eighth best batting average. They're scoring the six most runs. I mean, they're hitting home runs. They're getting guys on. Uh, they strike out the least amount of times. At least that was a stat that I had in my head, you know, at least four or five days ago. They don't strike out. They make good contact. And Hunter Henry isn't really a, a strikeout type pitcher. He's more of a pitch to contact type guy. Um, why am I saying Hunter Henry? I meant Kyle, Kyle Hendricks. Um, but the Diamondbacks also are very familiar batting against Hendricks. In fact, like they, it's even better than like what um, Hunter Brown has. Let me pull it up here. Uh, <clears throat> Suarez bats. You know, has faced them fifty-two times in his career. He has eleven hits. That's you know, it's only batting two thirty-nine. But he's hit. He's got four doubles against them. Two home runs. He's struck out against them a decent amount of times. Barnhart. Uh, I think that's a catcher, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Thirteen hits. You know. Two doubles. Jace Peterson is batting 400 against them on 25 at bats. You know, he's got 10 hits, four singles, three doubles, a triple, two home runs against them. Christian Walker bats 333. He's got six hits against them. He's had multiple doubles against them. Jock Peterson, you know, has got three doubles against them. Uh, he'll actually bat, you know, uh, and Jock doesn't bat when they got a lefty on, on, the, on the board, you know. Patel Marte actually hasn't hit him very well. But Corbin Carroll's faced him, you know, just six times in his career. He's, he's you know, he struck out twice and hasn't, doesn't have much of a hit on him. But Corbin Carroll's obviously he's a solid dude. Um, but, yeah, second play, Diamondbacks first five team total over two and a half. I just – I mean, they they kind of have a special spot in my heart. You know, they they cashed so much for me in that first series against the Rockies. They 
They cashed a nice like plus 680 or something. I think it was for a home run first inning for me. Um, I feel like almost every bat, every bet I've had outside of the most recent one, the most recent first five that we lost just barely, you know, it's hit for me. So it's a team that I'm familiar with that I've been doing, you know, doing, uh, doing well against them, everything like that. So <clears throat> second play is going to be the D backs first five teams, total over two and a half. <coughs> Dang it, man. <clears throat> this cough. Before we get into third play, as usual, do me a favor, guys. Um, <laughs> I do this every time. Hop in here. I make sure I like my own video. I don't know if it even counts, but I'm going to get in here and like my own video. Um, <clears throat> if you guys haven't hit the like button, please make sure you do. I feel like every time I get in here, we're at nine and I put it to 10, but I'll take it. If you haven't liked it, do me a favor, hit the like button. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done that for me yet either, please. Um, Let's see. Last play. What? TJ, I like Tucker to get a hit today against Rodon and it hits probably with someone else man like the hit and hit parlays were like I started out three for three and then it's like you just got guys like you know it's just MLB is just such a sport where it's like you almost don't want to have I try to only have like four units out a day you know and then you do this this and that um and a hit parlay for in me is like when it's like oh I don't really have a play on, I don't really like a total or a team total or first five or a money line. You know, these are both good pitchers or I, I don't really see an edge. All right, then I'll do a total. Then I'll do total bases or something like that. Um, I wish I was a type of guy that gave out like 10 plays a, a day, uh, but I just can't. I just, I just, because I mean, imagine going 0 and 10 and trying to recover from that as, you know, but some people are popping off. Like you see people on Twitter, they're like, oh, look at all this green. I, I bet 25 times a day or whatever. And it's just like, man, that's a lot, <laughs> you know, it's, that's crazy. And the games aren't spaced out. I wish the games were spaced out better. Like there's a game at one and not another one till six. Like, why can't we have a three o'clock game? Why can't I hit a bet on the one o'clock game? And then I bet hit a bet on the three o'clock game and then the six o'clock game. And then I kind of just like go down the line instead of like all the games starting at seven 11 and you know, and then you're all over yourself, you know? Um, anyway, uh, I think it's obvious. Brandon Ingram today, uh, my favorite NBA player prop. Um, I actually already gave this one out in the Discord. It's at 18 and a half on FanDuel. I was going to double check. It's still at, I think it's higher at most other books. Um, I know he's coming off injury. I've already had that, you know, that discussion with, with people in the Discord that are still a little negative. Oh, it came back down to 18 and a half on FanDuel as well, but you got a better number on DraftKings. Um, I know he's coming off of injury. So <clears throat> this graph right here, and I'll I'll explain the number in a second. <clears throat> On the year here with 36 plus minutes played, he's over in 15 of 17 games. Um, this second graph here, so you see a lot of green. The second graph here with that amount of minutes played at home, he is over in every game this year. In the playoffs in 2022, his lowest minutes was 36. Uh, I know he's coming off injury, but you know they're press release, press conference, whatever they're talking about him. Coach says he's going to see an increase in minutes. And his first game back, he played 23 minutes, which I feel is actually not bad for somebody that's coming off a knee injury. He was only out for three weeks. It's not like he's been out for months or anything like that. Um, and there's also been, like, I mean, you can easily find it, you know, search Brandon Ingram on Twitter, or Google, or whatever. But there's videos of him playing, you know, he's, he's practicing after practice. Uh, where, you know, he's there at least an hour after practice most recently here. And, you know, he's putting in work and he's working hard and everything like that. That's obviously going to help with the conditioning. It's going to help with like, you know, strengthening, getting back to, you know, knocking the rust off, everything like that. The guy's putting in work and I think he's ready to play and it's the playoffs. So I don't see how, I don't see how Brandon Ingram doesn't put in a full complement of, of minutes today. It just seems like, we got an even money spread, uh, you know, a minus one or so. It's a pick them essentially. Uh, the guys, the guy's gonna, the guy's gonna play. Um, in the playoff series that he had against the Suns, is the one where he averaged, you know, 36 plus minutes a game. He had 18 plus points in every game this year. Um, I don't remember if I said the bet. It's Brandon Ingram over 18 and a half points. Um, he averaged 18 plus points in every game against the, the Suns in that playoff with a ceiling of 37. Um, he's covered 18 and a half in five of six. So we had an 18 one time. So we just barely missed it. He's had 18 plus in five of six playoff games that he had. Obviously it was just that one series, um, against the Pelicans just recently. 
The last 30 games, the Lakers are allowing the 10th most points to the position. Um, I know it's a little risky, uh, but we have a tight spread. We have um, a dog fight of like a, of a game. And like I said, we have the video of him putting in extra work. We have coach saying he's going to have extra, extra minutes. Um, even with 24 plus minutes, he's over this against the Lakers in his career or most recently in five out of six games, he's over this in just 24 minutes. He put in 23 minutes yesterday. So if we can get him into the 30 minute range, if we can get him into like the 33, 34 minute range, um, you know, he's going to hopefully be able to take over, you know, CJ McCollum's been shooting, you know, pretty decently, but you know, if it, and like, I really like, like Zion Williamson. Uh, I like Zion's assist today as well. Like they, last time they played, they really like blitzed them. And like, you know, he had, had a hard time scoring. He was passing the ball around a lot, which is going to feed into, you know, Brandon Ingram's points here. Um, call it crazy, call it whatever. But I mean, this is probably my favorite prop on the board. I really like D'Angelo Russell. I think he's going to take a ton of three point attempts today. I mean, he's been averaging like 12 recently. Um, I really like Zion's assist in this game. I, there's a FanDuel sweat free promo. If you're in the discord, I'm going to, I'm going to run that. Maybe put that out on Twitter. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> but I think there's plenty to like in this game. And then for the second game, I really kind of like Draymond, uh, his, his points and assists, Austin Reeves. Um, but I mean, that was kind of it. I didn't really like as much. I don't really like anything on the Kings, you know, so we kind of see how it goes, kind of plays out or whatever, but this is my favorite NBA prop for the day. Uh, and, uh, you know, we'll kind of just let it, let it fly and see what happens. Um, <coughs> Nick. Yeah. I've never, never touched soccer. Probably, probably will never ever touch soccer. I just don't No, I don't like it. I just don't know it, but to recap on the audio side here, uh, now's the time though. If anybody has any questions or anything like that, and any particular games or anything, let's let's go ahead and uh, you know pop those questions in the comments. Um, we can chat about it, look some stuff up. If you guys want to do a home run parlay, we can. You know, it's like I said before. I mean, we're not putting no one's. I I certainly hope nobody's putting very much money on these. It's. It really is kind of for fun. I, I want to just, you know, like I said, I want to hit one, give some money away because I hate hit one, you know, on in public kind of thing, you know, uh, not fantastic hitting conditions. You know, looking at ballpark pile, there's no there's really no green on the board in terms of, you know, home run chances or anything like that. Um, we can do it if you guys I, I haven't even like looked. I hadn't even looked at home run type stuff you know maybe maybe the like long shot i give out is that that sweat free promo maybe we just do that um i did see eloy jimenez hit the other day um which kind of had me thinking you know he's he's a big bat but you know we got wind blowing in at the white Sox stadium you know so uh but we'll, we'll close out here for the audio do a recap and then see if anybody's sticking around and we can chat some more if not you know we can get out of here but Let's see. Uh, April, what is it? April sixteenth, lunchtime in the lab here. I actually don't have a graphic for it. Uh, I was kind of running. I run out of time here for the recap, though. For today, first place Braves, first five team total over two and a half. Diamondbacks, first five team total over two and a half for the second play, and then the third play is Brandon Ingram over eighteen and a half points. As an alternative, I'm seeing a lot of people are interested in points and rebounds, but I I, I, I like the point line better than I do the points and rebounds line. Uh, but as usual, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening. Um, if you're interested, try to catch it. You follow me on Twitter. You can watch it there. If you are, you know, want to come over, subscribe to YouTube. You can watch, you know, and get some of that stuff as well. Uh, but, uh, you know, thanks for listening. Be sure to follow me on all social media at Live Joe Betts, and I will catch you guys back tomorrow. Yeah, I, I do still. That's what... <clears throat> I don't know, B. I recognize the picture. I've definitely seen you before. Um, that's what I that's what I just closed out was the audio. So I do still I don't honestly even know how many people are listening to it, to be honest. But the, those people that are still listening to it, I think my dad does, you know, after work on his way to work or something like that. Um but uh but yeah, definitely still do. All right. Um home run parlay. What do you think about Mike Trout? I think Mike Trout. Um, he had, he had what? He had a double yesterday. He's been hitting the ball pretty good. He's had one hit against what? Savali, Savali, Savali. Three attempts, one hit, one home run. Probably not bad. 
But like, like I said though, if like, I wish I could like show this to you guys, but I really probably shouldn't because you guys, you all aren't paying for it like I am. But like, just even off of like their projections, you have like a minus eleven percent chance. You know, Arizona minus twenty in Baltimore, minus thirty five in Detroit, minus thirty seven in Boston, minus eleven in Miami, minus twenty one in Oakland, minus seventeen in Seattle, minus eighteen at the Mets. This is like a negative, like like um, <clears throat> under like the mean, basically. So like a plus ten would be it's like a ten percent chance over the like normal like stats or something. I don't know. I can't pretend to fully understand it. But the weather just sucks. The weather is just not good right now. Um, for the weather is just not awesome for you know home runs and stuff. Uh, but. Trout is probably somebody like if I had to go if like if I had to like if we were absolutely gonna do it, um, I would maybe look at like when does Trout play at six? So Trout, just cause I think Solaire feels like he's like super due where the Giants at. And then man, I feel like Kikuchi doesn't Kikuchi give up a decent amount of home runs if you ran Aaron Judge back. Dude just is a bum. Every time I'm on him, the guy doesn't do dick. <laughs> that's funny i've seen that and sometimes like i'll i always make sure i'm like cautious i'm like wait that's a dome right you know like it's yeah wind's blowing in and it's it's a dome <laughs> that's funny tj no what no judge <laughs> that was your pick yesterday <clears throat> what did you say Olsen or Albies? Um, maybe I'm thinking, and that's the hard part is that like you still have some of this data, this remembrance from like last year. Kikuchi was a big over pitcher last year. At least at, at one part, at one point, there was a stretch where like I remember being all over him. <clears throat> Somebody in the Braves game actually does make sense though. Since I'm expecting them to have um, some offense in our first five, it would make sense to play somebody there. How long is it? Matt Olson hasn't hit a home run in like 10 years. I'm not big on Albies. Is that who you said? Yeah. He's not much of a home run guy for me. Uh, I mean, traditional home run guy. I think we mess with Olsen. Nice little plus seven. 1048. What's up? What's the luck? <clears throat> I mean, that's cool. I mean, it's semi thrown together. I don't know. Like, there's times where like you could put in a bunch of research off these, and then is it just as just as easy just to go through and be like, oh, like let's let's just pick three very quickly. You know, it's just that's just where the home run, you know, lottos just sucked. But Trout's been Trout's been seeing the ball. Trout's been hitting well. He's got a home run against that pitcher. Um, Soler honestly is just off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure. Let me actually see something on Soler because he's going against a lefty. I don't remember how well he hits lefties. Ah, I mean. I don't know. He's got a home run against them already. He doesn't face them. There's not as many lefty pitchers nowadays, it seems. I'm cool with that. We can just do that. I mean, not to sound like a punk, but like, I mean, is it even going to hit? What's it matter? <laughs> How long we spend on it? They're just so, they're so hard. Um, And then, yeah, like <clears throat> Ozuna, Trout, and Jordan. Sounds like winners too, you know? 
sometimes you feel like you want to be, you know, like, let me pick the guy that you, no one else is thinking about or something. And then it's like, well, should I just play? Should I just play Judge and Otani and Alvarez and Kyle Schwarber? You know? Yeah, I mean Acuna is plus four hundred for him. I mean that dude like. I feel like that's where that's where like the Braves' issues are coming from. Is I feel like Acuna isn't hitting very well. Like I think that's where their offensive woes are. That their leadoff guy is like I don't know. Like Norman gets on base and then he steals second and then all of a sudden a single it's one nothing, Braves. I mean that's how it you know it generally goes you know all year, uh, because you know Acuna has been struggling. Uh, Lindor, sure. I don't know if he's even hit a home run or not. Everybody on the Mets is due. Like, looking at the lineup today, the Tigers have no offense. The Orioles are hit and miss. The Twins have, like, no offense. The Phillies. What's going on with the Phillies? You know, like, you want to say, like, Austin Gomber, perfect. Let's take... You know, Har Harper hit the ball pretty hard. Harper hit the ball hard yesterday. He just didn't get all of it. Harper almost had a home run yesterday, to be honest. I was watching that game. Harper got a hold of one yesterday. No, you know, Soler hasn't been hitting since he left very well. Rays don't seem, you know, what about like the dude for the Mariners, Julio, what, Rodriguez or whatever? He's not hitting much. Alonzo's not hitting much. The Mets' entire team isn't really hitting. The Devers, is that guy ever going to hit a home run again? <clears throat> um, Tatis. Literally anybody on the White Sox. I don't know. Things have been a little weird. It's the weather, guys. I think it's the weather. We just need like this, like we need it to get hot and then the ball is going to start flying, in my opinion. <clears throat> so let's let's just, we're going to run the quick Mike Trout, Solaire, and Olsen. That's what I'm going to do. Trout's seen the ball well. Solaire's a beast if he just comes into his own. And uh, and Olson, TJ, I used to like. <clears throat> so yeah, but okay. Here's here's partially the issue with steals. Like Acuna was like amazing for it, obviously last year. But the guy's not getting on base. So then you need guys to obviously get on base. And then like <clears throat> Wander Franco was fantastic at it. <laughs> you know that dude's not, yeah. What's he in jail or whatever now? Um. Not a big market that I'm used to, honestly. Like, I'd have to, like, Google, like, you know, I couldn't even tell you. Let me actually see if it even pulls up quick. Mm, yeah, see, I can't even find it fast. I was trying to see. Oh, here we go. So there's Terang. Terang is leading the league. And then Acuna's, Acuna's second was seven. That's crazy. And then, like, speaking of Washington, like, Lane Thomas, I was betting on, on Lane Thomas, like, every day. Every time he played, it was a lane versus a lefty. I took that bet every every single time. Um, you know, so we just got to get – we still don't even have, like, awesome stats out or anything like that. Like, there's a lot of stuff that's just, like, you know, it's just still such a young season. And, like, I started out just incredibly hot, you know, and then, like, then you kind of come up with this, like, now you have this expectation of, like, you know, now I'm underperforming because, like, I did start out, like, where I literally missed, like, two bets in, like, 10 days. <clears throat> Let's see. I was trying to look up the stats for Lane so far. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> like, he just faced a left-handed pitcher two days ago, and he had three hits, then nothing, and then three hits, and then two, and then two. So, 
Lane versus a lefty might have to come back again. He this year against the right handed pitching, he's over in five of seven. And you can get him for like minus one ten on a hits run RBI. But I don't think the Dodgers have I don't know who the Dodgers are throwing tonight. So I don't know. Maybe that's worth looking at if they're throwing a lefty. But all right. Anyway, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the trout Solaire and Olsen. I got those three plays for you guys giving out. Um, you know, MLB has just been tough. You know, I apologize obviously for going, you know, I, I like shoot, I'm losing just as much money as you guys. I win with you guys, lose with you guys. Um <clears throat> if you're in the discord you know we got to play out we got some more stuff coming uh but i appreciate you guys for watching listening and everything like that um as usual if y'all ever want to you know interact or whatever at me on twitter um and oh, i'm sorry i got lost my train of thought but anyway appreciate you guys and i'll see you guys back tomorrow at 11 30